What's up guys, this is WWE Superstar Austin Aries, and you are watching Top 10 Wrestling. What is going on guys, it is Top 10 Wrestling, and welcome to the 10 best heel wrestlers in WWE today. In this list, I'm looking at the 10 best wrestlers who play the heel role the best. Let's get right into this. But first of all, honorable mentions, Bray Wyatt and Baron Corbin. Both were very close to making the list, but they, they didn't really. Sorry, sorry lol, sorry not sorry, bye. Number 10, Rusev. Rusev is one of WWE's most underrated workers. He's one of the most un underutilized workers on top of that. Rusev is so good at just genuinely making you hate him. He brings in so much hate from the crowd and it's insane the heat that he gets. Rusev, you deserve more. Number nine, Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe is now playing the new role of Triple H's henchman. And boy, is he doing it really, really well. Samoa Joe is the type of man that can just destroy you. So when he goes out there and he just beats up, I don't know, nice old Kalisto for a minute or two, it, you just hate the guy, it just makes you hate him so much. Number 8, Charlotte Flair. Charlotte Flair has really came into her own over the past year or so. Now I will say that she's not the only female on this list. There's someone else on this list that's a better heel than her in my opinion, but in my opinion, and this might be a controversial one, I think Charlotte is the best women's wrestler in the world today. Charlotte Flair brought in the most heat during WrestleMania season last year where everyone just wanted Sasha Banks to win, and then Charlotte won, and the amount of heat she got for that, for taking the moment away from Sasha Banks, man, it made me hate her, and I give her credit for that. Number 7, The Revival. The Revival are one of the best tag teams in the world. They are amazing. The Revival's gimmick is, as the t-shirt says, no flips, just fists. They want to beat you and they're going to do that any means necessary even if it means bending the rules. They're just great. They're really great. Number 6, Neville. The king of the cruiserweights. I want this man to be cruiserweight champion forever. Can we please have that? Can we please? When you're someone like Neville, it's quite hard to play the heel character because you have such a babyface moveset. But then the second Neville gets on the mic, you forget about his moveset. You forget about how good he is in the ring. And you just want to punch the man in the face if you ever saw him. He's a dick. He's a dickhead. But you know what? He's a good dickhead because he's meant to be a dickhead. So good job, Neville. Good job. Number five, Alexa Bliss. Man, I was raw, I was rewatching um, Raw from last night because I didn't watch it live, and I was looking at that opening segment with Alexa Bliss, and my God, she's so good on the mic. She is amazing, and it's it makes me so happy to know that WWE are treating her so well. I mean, she's the Raw Women's Champion now, and that's so deserved. It's the little things that make Alexa Bliss so great. Like when she's delivering a promo and the crowd tried to hijack and she just shuts them down completely. It's the little things that make Alexa Bliss such a good heel wrestler. Number four, AJ Styles. The phenomenal one is here on this list. I talk about AJ Styles too much on this channel, but let's face it, there's nothing that this man can't do. I was quite reluctant about AJ Styles being a heel five months after he joined the company because I thought he would do so much better as a babyface, not to mention the fact that he has quite a babyface moveset. But like I said with Neville, the second he gets on the mics, the second he starts talking, you forget about that and you just, it, he's so good, he's amazing, he's phenomenal and I hate to make that awful pun. Number 3, Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens is a beautiful man and he's always been a beautiful man when it comes to being a heel, he's just so so good. His heel turn when he came into NXT was one of the best heel turns ever, just beating up Sami Zayn. Ah oh, man, I love the guy so much, he's so great as a heel, honestly. Him being a babyface would be cool, but since he's so good at being a heel, I couldn't imagine him being a babyface ever, because he's just that good as a heel. Number 2, Braun Strowman. Hopefully, me putting Braun Strowman at number 2 on this list will not make him tip an ambulance on me. I'm not finished with you, Tom. You know you're fucked when Braun Strowman says that to you. Braun Strowman is the best thing on Raw going. He's just so entertaining with his backstage statements of him just beating up Roman Reigns, the guy we're meant to love. We cheer Braun Strowman because he does this. 
But if we did love Roman Reigns, then we would be booing the hell out of Braun Strowman. You've got to look at, the, look at it in that perspective. And you've got to realise how good of a job Braun Strowman is truly doing as a heel. I commend you, Braun Strowman. I really do. Because you really came into your own this past year and have improved very much. And number one, The Miz. I never used to like The Miz. I used to really really despised the Miz, but it was when during his intercontinental championship reign last year when he delivered that talking smack promo on daniel bryan that i turned my head on the Miz, and i realized just how much of a great worker he really is and i give my hats off to him i truly truly do he can be a straight up dick he can be humorous or he can just be a straight up savage the Miz is awesome Thanks for watching guys, if you did enjoy then smack that like button, um, new video hopefully in like 2-3 uh, days again, hopefully, I don't know, oh, we'll have to wait on that, but cheers guys for watching, if you did enjoy smack the like button, goodbye and keep on rolling.